Hi, I'm Shani Jones, the Senior Aboriginal Cultural Development Officer in the Strategic Initiatives team at Arts New South Wales. I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners, the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation, whose land we're meeting on today. I pay my respects to our elders past and present and future, and specifically acknowledge the young people, the people that will be our leaders of tomorrow. Uh, one of the major areas within the Strategic Initiatives team is to look at the sector and how we can best be placed in the future. So what does that mean about where we currently are and where we're headed? In terms of my work in managing the Aboriginal Arts and Cultural Strategy, it's about brokering relationships, developing partners with other government agencies and stakeholders, and really developing those relationships on a, on a professional level in terms of professional arts practice. So a number of the work areas that we're involved in is managing the Aboriginal Arts Fellowship, and the Aboriginal Regional Arts Fund. So we encourage Aboriginal artists and arts organisations in regional New South Wales to make applications through that round and you know, look at projects that are going to be um, on the ground working with their local communities and professional artists. The Aboriginal Arts Fellowship, however, is an avenue for professional development for professional artists at all stages of their career. Under the actions of the Aboriginal Arts and Cultural Strategy, there are four key areas, community, visibility, jobs and artists. And within that area, we deliver a number of, of programs. And one of the focus areas has been about pathways for youth. It's really important if people are working with Aboriginal artists or arts organisations and or communities, that they get in contact um, with their local Aboriginal Land Council, with their local or regional Aboriginal Arts Board. I would certainly encourage people to be mindful of the cultural protocols that are available on the Arts New South Wales website, to talk to staff such as myself in the Aboriginal Arts Development team and ask questions around who they might contact, the appropriateness of the story, and particularly around intellectual property is really important.